Interplanetary and Live is proud to have two representatives from the Peace and Play team here in our studio on Earth for an exclusive live intergalactic interview. Welcome, Narva and Grammy. Thank you. On behalf of our audience of small or medium-sized Canadian organizations and their partners all around our planet Earth, for accepting our request for an interview. As you know, your story of how you used results-based management, RBM, to develop a cloud-based play space to promote peace and cooperation in your world is now hitting the headlines on Earth. We're thrilled to see you collaborating with the Spur Change team to share your experiences through a new online course for our listeners and viewers. It's an honor to talk to you and help people working in your world's development programs accomplish big things, too. We're so happy with the impact we've made. We want to share our experience with as many creatures of the universe as we can, wherever they are. Have you seen our play space? It's so cool. Yes, we were impressed. You were able to communicate very clearly what you achieved. Is that another benefit of taking the RBM approach? Absolutely. It allowed us to describe very clearly why we are doing a pilot for a play space, exactly what we wanted to achieve, and how we aim to get there. It's a big benefit to be able to articulate that, especially when you want to find donors. We can see you here at work, planning your project. Would you say it was an easy process? It was hard. I wanted us to talk about activities first, but Prammy and Crow just said we couldn't, that we needed to write a lot of stuff first. <laughs> yes, that's right. RBM is not intuitive. We have a message from Zima from Planet Your Globe. Here is what Zima says. RBM is not intuitive and forces us to be more professional, to look beyond the tips of our own noses. Intuitively, when we face a challenge, we ask ourselves what we want to do about it. And we don't really explore the problem itself or the real impact we want to have. With RBM, we take a step back and think impact before activities. Impact is really crucial in our line of work, but still gets overlooked sometimes in our rush to solve problems with projects. Once you master this impact-first approach, RBM will make your work easier. Think impact before activities. We heard that so much. Uh, yes, Kroja and I, we did hammer that in, but it's so helpful. RBM makes us feel that our efforts are always aligned with the results we define together. In reports of your success, you are often quoted saying, we did that together. Can you elaborate? Kroja and Prammy, they always say that we share everything with everybody. So true, Narva. One of the biggest strengths of RBM is the fact that it helps us work together as a team and with all our stakeholders. We all know where we are going, why and how we plan to get there, and this shared information builds trust. Justo from Novi2 agrees with you, saying that while we work more collaboratively with RBM, the process also gives us more independence and flexibility. We don't have to explain every little change we're making to our projects. Thanks to the work we've done together with RBM, our sponsors trust us to take care of the implementation of the strategy we agreed on to get the results we want. I wholeheartedly agree. Could you imagine achieving your interworld renowned success without the RBM approach? Not at all. I've worked without RBM and wasted so much time. With RBM, we know where we are going, we track our progress, we make adjustments when we need to, we tell our stories. I wouldn't approach a problem any other way. You said once that with RBM, we can clearly determine the positive impacts the activities are having, and we can see the possible negative ones as well. Yes, it's terrible when you think about it, right? Because we're all in this field to help make a difference. Without RBM, you don't know the impact you're making because you most likely haven't created the framework you need to properly measure it. And you can't tell others about it. Ah, yes. Narva helped a lot with our reports and communications. Being able to talk about our project, tell our story and show the results, results that we know are directly linked to the activities we implemented, that's key. Let's talk about the online course you helped develop and start in. Are you confident it's going to help our small and medium organizations? Yes, it's been carefully designed so that by the end of the course, you love RBM and you can't wait to apply your new learnings to your projects. And it's not just us that are featured in the course. By the way, other RBM experts were consulted and you'll find all the essential core RBM knowledge in there. 
I did the course myself. It was fun and I learned heaps. The course is really straightforward, purposeful and clear. It takes you step by step through the RBM methodology and tools and it's very practical too. There are opportunities for real world practice with a lot of case studies and examples that test and reinforce your learning. Having done the course myself, I can tell you Earthians out there listening, it's well worth the time and effort. I encourage you to give this unique course a go. Share it with as many people as possible and make lasting impacts. We can't wait to interview the next award-winning change makers on our show. Thanks Prammy and Narva for coming to Earth today. And thanks also to Zima and Justo for sharing your insights. Bye for now.